Miles. I have something I want to talk about. It's about our marriage. I want to have a serious conversation. Huh? What's this all of a sudden? What's going on? I feel like you've changed since we got married. When we first met, you were so kind and cared about me. But recently, something feels different. Changed? What do you mean? I don't think I've changed at all. For example, you used to look me in the eye when I talked to you. But now, you're always looking at your phone, and your replies are so half-hearted. It feels like you're not interested in what I say, and it makes me sad. That's because I'm tired from work. Every guy wants to relax a bit when he gets home. I just want to unwind at home. I understand, but I also want to cherish the time we spend together. We used to laugh and talk together, but now we hardly do that, and it makes me really lonely. What are you talking about being all needy? I need to take a break too. If I only think about family stuff, it will affect my work, you know? You should understand that much. Taking a break is important, but neglecting time with family isn't right. Work is important, but I want you to also value our relationship. So, what exactly should I do? How do you want me to change? You promised to help with the housework, and I want you to listen to me more and spend more time with me. Don't forget that we're partners. Help with housework? I work hard and make money, and I'll leave the house stuff to you, Lucy. Isn't that the way it's supposed to be? That's not right. Marriage is about supporting each other, and I think we should share the housework. It's not fitting for modern times. Marriage should be an equal partnership, and we should share the responsibilities of the home, right? Enough already. Fine. I'll help with the housework and listen to you more. Is that what you want? Will that make you happy? But understand that I'm busy too. Will you really do that? If you do, I also want to support you more. Let's help each other and create a better home together. That would be nice, right? It's not easy for people to change overnight. You're so naive. I know it's hard to change suddenly, but I want us to get back to valuing each other, even if it's little by little. Yeah, I want that too. Thank you, Miles. Miles, working late every night must be tough. Thank you. I really appreciate it. What? It's nothing special. Don't send me pointless messages on WhatsApp. I told you yesterday, but you'll be home early today, right? Huh? Why? I'm busy. I told you yesterday. Did you forget? I've been feeling a lot of pressure in my stomach lately, and the doctor said the baby would be born soon. So what? So what? Miles... Our child is going to be born. It's not just my child. You said you would go to the parenting class last time, but you canceled last minute because of work. Don't you care about your own child at all? Even if I go to the parenting class, I won't be home much, so I don't see the point. I won't have much time to spend with a child, and you'll be the one actually raising the baby, right? So I think it's enough for you to go to the parenting class alone. That's not what I mean, Miles. It's our first child, so both of us need to learn as much as we can and prepare to raise the baby together. We should support and cooperate with each other, don't you think? Well, but if there's something you don't know, you can just look it up online. It's a convenient time we live in, and there's no need to leave the house for that. You can gain knowledge without attending the parenting class. That might be true, but I was the only one there without my husband. When people ask where my husband is, it's embarrassing and makes me feel alone. They're probably all just slackers. I'm busy, so I can't take that kind of time off. Please understand. You don't have to say it like that. 
Calling everyone slackers is rude, and I'm doing my best too. Besides, just because the baby's due soon doesn't mean it will be born right now, right? So if I come home early today and the baby isn't born, it would be a waste of a good drinking party. Drinking party? Is it work-related? No, it's with some friends from college today, but it might lead to future business opportunities, and networking is important. Even so, I'd like you to come home as early as possible today. I'm nervous about the first birth, and if you tell your friends that, they'll understand. Look, you might not get it since you haven't been a working professional, but staying close with college friends can lead to future business opportunities. Networking is crucial. That might be true, but can't it wait? Since my dad passed away, I've taken over the company, and it's hard trying to support you and the kid. What if my income goes down? Are you going to make our kid live in poverty? Well, I can't work right now because I'm in the last month of pregnancy, but I'm planning to do what I can. See? You're living off my income. So just keep me happy and stop complaining. What? Why would you say that? Your words really hurt me. You complain just because I come home a little late. It makes me not want to come home at all. Try thinking about my position a little. I'm tired too, and I want to relax when I get home. Before you tell me to come home, make it a place I want to come back to. If you complain every time I come home, of course, I won't want to come back. Think about my feelings a little. Jesus Christ, how did you become so cold? Even now, the rent for the house you live in is paid by my income. While I'm earning, you're just sitting at home doing nothing, right? It's really enviable. You get to spend all day doing nothing and living easy, right? I've been doing the housework while managing my health. I work hard every day, and it hurts to be told that. I'm tired too, and it's tough for me. Housework? That doesn't take long, right? You say you're not feeling well, but pregnancy isn't an illness, and plenty of people work through it. You're just being spoiled. Everyone's doing their best, so you should too. Yeah, but there are times when I feel really bad. I want you to understand that. I'm doing everything by myself. Besides, it was your decision not to go back to your parents' place to give birth, right? It's strange to complain to me about it. It was because my parents wouldn't accept our marriage, so I had no choice. I really wanted to go back to my parents' place, but the situation didn't allow it. You just couldn't convince them, right? You should have tried harder. If you had properly persuaded them, this wouldn't have happened. I'm busy working from morning till night for you guys. You can give birth to the child by yourself. Without my income, you wouldn't be able to live, so you should be grateful. Do you understand how hard it is for me? Oh, I have to go now. See you later. I'm planning to have a good time tonight, so I might not be reachable. Miles? I've been calling you for a while. What are you doing? I think I might be going into labor. My stomach has been hurting for a while. I think the baby is about to be born. Huh? Don't call me for something like that. I'm busy right now. You know this is an important time for me. It's annoying to be called out for something like this. I called a taxi. But they said it would take a while. Miles, you're at the office, right? It's only 10 minutes by car from home. So could you take me to the hospital? Please, I need your help. No, I'm not at the office right now. Why are you so dependent on me? You can handle this on your own. What? Where are you then? Why aren't you at the office at such an important time? I'm at the airport. Airport? Is it a business trip? I didn't know that. Why didn't you tell me? Why do I have to tell you my schedule all the time? 
I finished my work earlier than expected, so I'm going on a trip abroad. So it's a completely personal trip? Yeah, it's completely personal. I've been working hard all the time, so I deserve to reward myself. What? But I'm on the verge of giving birth. Why at this time? You're the one giving birth. It's not like my presence would reduce the pain. The doctor will be there, right? But I would feel reassured if you were by my side, Miles. Oh, I think my water just broke. Please come back. No, I can't. I'm about to depart. Are you going on this trip alone? Who are you going with? Who cares? It's a friend. A friend. Stop meddling in every little detail. I'll call my mom so you can have her come over. Even if I'm not there, she'll be there for you. She mentioned she's been feeling unwell lately, so I can't ask her for help. You get along well with my mom, so you should ask her to be there. I can't keep catering to your selfish demands. Selfish? Fine, I'll wait for the taxi. My mother-in-law's house isn't that close anyway. I've already asked her to come over. Why did you do that without asking? I told you she doesn't need to come. It hurts. Tell her she doesn't need to come. Anyway, I'm not coming. I'm going on my trip. I'll be busy during the trip so I won't be reachable. But I'll contact you when I get back. Bye. Man, that was the best trip ever. It was fun, but I'm tired. Well, I got a decent break and I'm satisfied. So, I'll finally make some time for you. I'll come see you and the baby. So, did the baby arrive? The baby was born, but you don't have to come if you don't want to. What? Are you mad because I didn't go to the hospital? You should handle your own water breaking. Whatever. Which hospital was it again? I'm tired, but I guess I'll come. You should be able to make it to the funeral. What? Funeral? What are you talking about? I still need to stay in the hospital. You'll have to handle everything by yourself. Wait. Whose funeral? Your mother. My mom? But she was fine just a few days ago. I told you she was feeling unwell, right? Your mother was really worried when she found out you were going on an overseas trip. She kept saying, I'm sorry for my foolish son while driving me. But when we got to the hospital, she suddenly started suffering and was in real pain. My mom? I can't believe that. Did that really happen? She was always so healthy. I never thought something like this would happen. Yes, I was worried too, but I couldn't stay with her because I had to give birth. The doctor said it was a strain on her body from pushing herself too hard, despite being unwell. No way, that can't be true. I can't believe my mom would end up like that. But if it's true... I gave birth to our child while barely conscious... While you were having a fun vacation, I was going through all this alone. If you hadn't gone on that cheating trip and had stayed to drive us, this wouldn't have happened. But she was already in bad health, right? Even if I had driven, it might not have changed anything. So saying that is... You're truly a terrible person. A normal person would reflect on their actions, but you don't seem to. It's really disappointing to see you show no remorse. But... And you don't deny the cheating trip. You really went on a trip with another woman. While I was giving birth, while your mother was suffering. I can't forgive you. Lucy, calm down. The cheating was just a fling. Just for fun. I wasn't serious about it. You're the only one for me. We even have a child together. I couldn't forgive your attitude before, but with this, I've decided I will never forgive you. No matter how much you apologize, your mother is... She's not coming back. Don't come to the hospital. I don't want to see your face. 
Just seeing you makes my anger rise. Lucy, let's meet and talk. I want to see the baby too. Let's discuss everything properly. How we'll move forward, let's think about it together. I told you the name of the hospital so many times, and you didn't even remember it. That's how much I mean to you. Anyway, give your mother a proper funeral. We'll talk after that. Lucy, wait. Please don't divorce me. I need you. I can't live without you. Lucy, are you feeling okay? How are you doing now? How's your recovery? I'm scheduled to be discharged next week. But more importantly, you got my letter, right? I got it. But you don't seriously want a divorce, do you? Do you think I sent you that letter as a joke? I told you last time that I don't intend to forgive you, right? But a divorce would be a problem for me. It would really be a problem. I need to avoid it at all costs. I can't even think about getting a divorce. A problem? Normally, I'd understand if you said you didn't want a divorce. But what do you mean by it being a problem? Can you explain exactly why it's a problem? What do you mean by a problem? You need to explain it properly or I won't understand. Do you have another reason for not wanting a divorce? Well, it's... it's because I'm having money troubles. Having money troubles? That's not a valid reason. If we divorce, we'll have to divide the assets. And since this is your fault, I'll be asking for alimony and child support. But I never expected my mom wouldn't leave any inheritance. I didn't think I'd end up in this situation. I really need the money. Wait, have you forgotten? Your mom was involved in volunteer work for a long time, and she donated everything she had, except for what she needed to live on, to underprivileged children. I never heard that. I can't believe she was doing that. I had no idea she was doing such things. It's not that it was a surprise. You just weren't tuned in. Your mom was such a kind and good person. And you... Your dad was unfaithful and neglectful towards the family. And your mom always apologized for the fact that you are like him. Come on. A little cheating is actually a good thing for men. You'd prefer a man who's popular over one who isn't, right? What? Are you saying you cheated for my sake? Don't joke around. Of course I want a man who doesn't cheat. Oh, that's not what I meant, but... Your mom regretted what your dad did to her and what you did to me. We all knew you were cheating. I was wrong. But please, hold off on the divorce. I really need money right now. Because you're the beneficiary of my mom's life insurance, it should have been me, her child. She said she wanted me to be free if anything happened to her. She was such a wonderful woman. Come on, I promise I won't cheat anymore. From now on, I'll live for you and our child. Just this once. Please don't divorce me. Lend me some money. I'm begging you. No. Why would I lend you money? If we don't divorce, he'll definitely use it all. I want to honor your mom's wishes. Even after I apologize this much, it's still no good? Fine. I get it. I'll handle it with the company then. The company? Oh, are you going to embezzle money again? Embezzle? It's my company, so I can do what I want. The reason you want money is to spoil your mistresses, right? You spent all the money buying them gifts, treating them to fancy dinners, and now you spent a lot on this trip, and you're out of money again, right? So what if I did? Is that any of your business? Don't interfere with how I do things. You're not the CEO or anything. Aren't you misunderstanding your position? What? What are you talking about? Did you forget that I'm the CEO? You're getting fired. 
There's no place for you in the company anymore. Why? What did I do? Your sister is going to be the CEO. She's taking over the company instead of you. My sister? Why her? I should be the CEO. She's more capable than you and you've been using company funds. The other board members seem to agree. Everyone is fed up with you. What? So I'm going to be unemployed? Is this really happening? It seems so, but you still need to pay the alimony. Even if you're unemployed, your responsibility doesn't change. What about the house? The house we're living in is under the company's name. Where am I supposed to live? I don't know. That's your problem. I've already arranged movers and I'm moving out. I'll be fine, even without that house. Where are you moving? I have nowhere to go. To your mother's house. Your sister lived there too, and she invited me to live with her. She cares for us. Your sister will be busy with work now, and since she's a single mother, we decided to help each other out. No way. Then there's no place for me. I have nothing left. Is that it? That's right. And as I recall, your sister's husband cheated on her too. So she has a lot of resentment towards you. Where am I supposed to live? I have no house or job. What? Why don't you go to one of your mistresses? You have them, right? But I can't reach them. They don't answer my calls or messages on WhatsApp. If they truly liked you, they would help you. Maybe your mistresses have given up on you too. Ah, maybe they found out you're out of money and left. They were smarter than I thought. What did you do? What did you say to them? What? I just told them if they continued their relationship, I'd ask for alimony from them too. It's the truth, so it couldn't be helped. I didn't expect it to be someone from the company, though. Apparently, you were flirting at work too. It was easy to figure out who it was. No way. So I've been dumped. No house, no job. What am I supposed to do? Lucy, please, don't leave me. You're kind. You wouldn't do this. Think of the child. It's unfair for them to grow up without a father. Please, don't abandon me. You're always like this. You always make it seem like it's my fault. This child would be unfortunate to have a father who doesn't come home and treats his mother poorly. I'm glad we can get divorced before you meet the baby. But I haven't even seen the baby's face yet. You went on a trip overseas with your mistress instead of being with me. We'll handle everything through the lawyers from now on. I'm still recovering from my injuries. Wait a minute. We're not done talking. Please, reconsider. I won't wait. I never want to talk to you again. Live your life freely from now on. No way. After that... Miles was fired and kicked out of the company. His sister became the CEO, and his affair became known within the company. No one trusts him anymore. Miles lost his house and now reportedly moves from one friend's house to another. As soon as his mistresses found out he had no money, they cut off contact with him and now is completely alone. After his mother passed away, he realized how much she had supported him. But it's too late now. I plan to continue living a happy life with my child. My sister-in-law has been a huge help to me, and I'm managing well in raising my child. Every day, as I watch my child grow, I feel that my decision was the right one. I plan to continue living a happy life with my child. Is dinner ready? Yes, it's ready. I made pasta today. Okay. I'm coming home with my co-worker. What? From now? Yes. Is there any inconvenience? I didn't make extra portion, so I don't think we'll have enough for dinner. Why don't you just make it now? 
Don't be rude to your husband's guests. Isn't that a wife's job? I don't think so. Who decided that? Huh? Are you trying to embarrass me in front of my co-worker? I'm taking them with me. They're still single. Don't you want to serve them a proper dinner to make them feel at home? Are you just too selfish to even think about that? You're so mean. What's wrong with you? You sound offensive somehow. If people see our warm home and think it's nice to have a family, you'll be happy. And that'll make you work harder, right? There are so many good things about showing our home to others. I know that what you're saying is admirable, but I don't think we need to take care of your co-workers. Don't you think it's natural for me to do that? I'm the one who got married first, so I want to set an example for my co-workers. Anyway, just prepare something simple and get it ready. You're a housewife, so you should be able to do that. You're really rude. I can cook the food, but we don't have any alcoholic beverages. Why don't you go buy some on your way home? You should buy some snacks of your choice too. Are you telling me to go shopping? There's no way I can do something so embarrassing with my co-workers around. I'm leaving work now, so it'll be a little while before I get home. In the meantime, why don't you go shopping? I don't have that much time. I have to clean up the room and cook, okay? You're going to clean the room now? Why now? What were you doing during the day? You're probably just taking a lazy nap anyway. Stop slacking off. I do my housework diligently, but cleaning up for guests is different, isn't it? There are things you don't want them to see. I have to put those things away. That's because you're incompetent, right? Huh? What do you mean? A good housewife always keeps everything in perfect order. I didn't expect you were that useless. Incompetence is a great sin. Hold it right there. Isn't that too rude? You're my wife, right? A wife who embarrasses her husband is incompetent. Okay, I got it. I'm going to the supermarket now. I'll even cook. Are you satisfied with that? You should just be obedient and say so from the beginning. Why did you say you can't do it? You think, if you say you can't do it, I'll do everything to help you? Well, I know that I'm a perfect guy, but you're relying on me too much. Don't depend on me forever. Do it yourself. You're a housewife, for heaven's sake. Yeah, whatever. Please excuse me, since I'm busy. You must entertain my guests. Do I make myself clear? Will you take a look at the bed? I'm going to the bedroom, so just wait for a sec. I forgot the document in the envelope. Is it there? Yes, it's here. Thank God. I took it out of my bag and forgot it just like that. Now bring that to me right away. I need it for a meeting that'll be held in 50 minutes. No kidding. I can't do that. It's too sudden. You say you can't do it right away again. You don't know if you don't try. Why don't you do it right away? Because I have to take a train to get there, right? It'll take more than an hour. There's no way I can make it in time. Hurry up then. I left home and got to the office in 50 minutes. Don't assume from the start that you can't do it. I have to do a lot of preparation before I leave the house. A woman needs time to get ready. What's the matter with you? You're really useless. What an incompetent wife. You're my wife, right? You should always be ready to support your husband. Incompetent, huh? Is that the only word you can say to me? I'm not your servant, nor your housekeeper. I work diligently every day. I support you with the money I earn. How dare you talk back to me? Don't talk to me like you're some big shot. Just because you're the breadwinner, it doesn't mean that you can treat me as if I were a slave. Why don't you get the heck out of the house then? If you don't make it to the meeting on time, I will reduce the amount of money I give you from now on, since you're an incompetent wife. 
That's enough. Anyway, I'm leaving now. Hey, today was your payday, right? Did you get a pay cut this month? The allowance for living expenses is awfully low. It's a penalty for last month, I told you. Huh? What penalty? You couldn't do what I told you. You always said you can't do it right away. And you complained to me about every single thing I said. Are you talking about the document last time? That's right. But there's something else. What else? Looks like you had a bad memory too, huh? You'll never be able to survive in this world with that kind of naive thinking. That's not true. I was working at the company before I quit since I got married to you. I've never had any problems. Also, no one has ever called me incompetent. Then you must have lost your ability to take care of things since you got married. All you do is just taking a nap and cutting corners while doing housework. People degenerate when they're lazy, you know. What does that have to do with the living expenses? What you're saying isn't a reason. You're really stupid. Family is part of society. You don't seem to understand unless I tell you. I'm going to tell you from scratch. So listen to me carefully. I'll only tell you once. Are you preaching to me again? Don't talk to me like that. I'm the boss here because I earned the money. And you're like an employee to me. Anyway, you don't earn money. So employee isn't the right word to describe your position. I think I should describe you as a slave. Huh? A slave? That's too much. Because you're being fed free food, right? A slave's job is to do exactly what the boss orders. If you can't do that job, you can eat, take a bath, and get some sleep. Well, I guess you're just lazing around during the day. What a happy slave. I'm not a slave. You're incompetent since you get angry so easily. Don't you understand metaphor? I'm just trying to make it easy for you to understand. Slave. Incompetent. Those words you told me? Is that what you think of me this time? Then I'll find a job. You told me you wanted me to quit my job when we got married. That's why I became a housewife. If you're going to make fun of me so much, I'll work. How are you going to find a job? I think it's impossible. You've been degenerating by staying at home for years. You can't even take care of your housework, so there's no way you can go back to work outside. That's disrespectful to all the people who are working right now. You don't know that until you try. I worked all my life until I got married. I'm sure that you won't find any job. No matter what other people think, I'm well aware that you're incompetent. Don't forget that if you start working. You'll get yourself into trouble. I don't want to take the responsibility for that. So what am I supposed to do? Am I to remain a slave? A housekeeper? As long as you do what I say and keep me satisfied, it doesn't matter. You are only capable to do simple things. Find them. I'll think carefully about what to do from now on. That's right. You should have done that from the beginning. You're such a rebel every time. But if you're willing to do it, that's fine. I'm asking you to do your best for me. You should make an effort to make my life comfortable. I just got home from work. Where the heck are you, Mary? Your husband came home so you must explain why you're not here to welcome him. Hey, stop bothering me, okay? What? Who do you think you're talking to? I've thought it over carefully. I can't stay together with you anymore. Huh? Stop kidding me when I'm tired. What on earth are you talking about? Didn't you notice what's on the floor near the entrance? The floor? I didn't want to bother turning on the light, so I just went straight to my room. Then go back and look again. I thought you were about to find out as soon as you got home. What do you mean you didn't even turn on the light? Stop blabbering. Just tell me what's on the floor. What? 
You'll know it when you see it. Divorce papers. Divorce papers? I'm the one who's paying for your living expenses. How can you do such a thing when you're a slave? What's wrong with you? That's what I'm complaining about. That attitude of looking down on me. That language you use. What? The way you say that you're paying for my living expenses. Slave, housekeeper, incompetent. Those are the words you use toward me all the time. Do you really think that you're some sort of king who rules the world? You don't even get paid that much. You're just an ordinary office worker. Hey, watch your language. Are you making fun of company workers? Just because you're incompetent, it doesn't mean that you can just blame the others. This is why I hate dealing with a stupid woman like you. You haven't changed at all, but feel free to do whatever you want now. I'm sick and tired of your pompous attitude. Let's have a divorce. Pompous attitude? I'm just trying to educate you. I don't need you to teach me anything. I've learned everything I need to know at school and the workplace. I'm not a slave nor a housekeeper. I'm an independent woman. Oh, come on. Adult means you can make your own decisions and act accordingly, right? Do you know what that means? It means you must be able to earn your own money and make your own living. I know that much. Liar. If you knew that, you wouldn't be so lazy. You would be able to listen to what I have to say with an open mind. Here we go again. You and your nonsensical thoughts. I haven't told you this before, but I found a job and I'm already working. Don't be ridiculous. You're just staying at home every day. Everyone has their own way of earning money, and I'm not lazy. Oh, I got it. You're selling your junk to make a few coins, right? I'm sorry, but you can't live on that kind of money. What are you talking about? No, I'm not. Stop making assumptions. It's too much trouble. Don't waste your time resisting. Come back home. I told you I'm not going back. If you insist that much, I understand. You're leaving, aren't you? From now on, I won't give you any allowance at all. Are you sure about that? Of course. Don't keep talking big. What are you talking about? A housekeeper like you should just obey my orders. You don't earn a penny. I don't need your money, so divorce me. Don't be so cocky. Whatever happens later, I won't forgive you. Well, as you wish, I'll file the divorce papers tomorrow morning. Thank you. I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Well then, goodbye. Hey, Mary. What do you want, Judas? Well, I need to talk to you about something. What do you want to talk about? Will you call off our divorce? What? I can't do that. And even if I could, it's impossible. I refuse to do it. You're being very harsh. Oh, really? The electricity and water went out at my house today. I see. The management company told me to move out of the apartment too. But you've been living there for a year, so that's great. The landlord was very kind to you, wasn't he? What do you mean? You were behind on your rent, electricity, and water bills anyway, weren't you? It's only natural that you should be evicted. Evicted? Me? I don't understand. You're a clever company worker, aren't you? Can't you even understand that much? Sorry, I should call the CEO instead. CEO? What do you mean by that? I'm not the CEO. Is that so? I thought our family was a company you owned and you were the CEO. That was a long time ago. I didn't contact you to talk about that. I just need your help. Why should I help you? You didn't even know what's going on in your own company. How could you act like the CEO? I can't help but laugh. What? 
Are you making fun of me? I don't mean to make fun of you. Do you know how much your monthly income is? It's about $3,800 take-home pay. And how much is the rent for the apartment? $1,500. That's right. Last year, you bought an expensive motorcycle on loan, right? How much are your monthly payments? $600 per month. And I received $700 for food and living expenses from you, right? That $700 included the money you should save. $700 for food, daily necessities, entertainment. Do you have any idea how hard it would be to try to save even more? Why don't you try practicing it yourself? Why are you talking so high and mighty? You're just an incompetent woman. Well, okay then. Why don't you keep doing what you do for the rest of your life? I don't care since I'm no longer your wife. Wait a minute. The grand total is still $2,800. Think about all the insurance you've got. Do you have any idea how much you're paying for those? You spent $500 per month on those. Anyway, when you die, there will be no beneficiary. You were the beneficiary at the time. Besides, what about the remaining $500? Don't you understand? Think about it. Internet and cell phones, drinking parties, pocket money. $500 wasn't enough, right? I was saving money, so somehow it was enough. I wonder why. Are you hiding something from me? Huh? How naive can you be? Electricity, water, and gas are not free of charge. You forgot all about that, didn't you? Why didn't you pay them out of the money I gave you? You spent all my money. Hey, how have you been managing your money for the past six months? With me gone, your money must have been floating around more than before, right? How did you end up getting kicked out of the apartment? Have you tried reviewing your finances or something? What are you talking about? You've been secretly spending my money, haven't you? That's the only thing I can think of. Don't be silly. We were living on a shoestring, and I didn't waste a dime of your money. Now you know, don't you? Because you've been spending all your time at home, you're the one who's been living in idleness. You know what's funny? You're divorced, but you can still live on your own. I'm pretty sure you're saving my money somewhere. You've got to be kidding me. I told you I'm not unemployed, right? Huh? Are you working? Even though you were lounging around at home like that? Jeez. Looks like you won't understand unless I talk to you from scratch. I'm not gonna listen to you. You're the one who stole my money. You ripped me off. Quit saying that without any proof. You wanted to make yourself look good in front of your parents, right? You took them on spa trips and went shopping with them, didn't you? They're my parents, so it's only natural. What's wrong with being nice to my own parents? You're so silly. What? Your brother is the president of a general contractor. You're just trying to look good and resist, right? There's no way you can resist. Why don't you just be yourself? Shut up. I'm not competing with my elder brother. I even took my parents on a spa trip once in a while. Really? What about the clothes and bike? Why were you so concerned about the luxurious brand of your possessions? You bought a lot of things that didn't deserve to be there. You looked like you were trying too hard. You were living way beyond your means. It's the same for every man. When you get married, you're the lord of the manor. You want to be particular about your possessions. You're just an ordinary office worker. Family is not a company. The head of the household is not the boss. You're not even a board member, so you don't have to be so vain. Huh? Are you telling me that my salary wasn't enough? That's right. At last, you understood. No one cares about you. There's absolutely no need to force yourself to look good. You're so rude. What a thing to say. 
You have no respect for me. You're living off the money you took from me. Don't act like a big shot. I told you I'm not. I earn my own money. If you insist that much, why don't we meet once? Let's meet face to face and discuss. Why should I do that? If you're making your own money, you must have enough income, right? Why don't you come live with me again? Stop kidding me. I can't live with someone who doesn't have any savings and is going to be evicted. Fair enough then. I'm willing to give you some respect from now on. So reconsider the divorce. What did you say? I don't need an incompetent person like you to respect me. You're incompetent, overbearing, and you treat people like some sort of slave or housekeeper. You are a completely unattractive person. There's no way I'm going back to live with someone like that. Don't say that. Your ex-husband is in trouble. Don't you think you should help me? I don't think so. After what you did to me, there's no way I could forgive you. By the way, I managed to get a job on my own, so I have a source of income to live on my own. I got divorced when the time was right. I can't have you interfering with my life anymore. Mary, I'm sorry. I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart. From now on, I'll do my best to support you. Will you live with me again? I want you to seriously think about it. I've seriously thought about it and it's not possible, okay? I've been married and living with you for a few years. I don't think you'll change your behaviors anytime soon. Well, good luck with your solitude at best. If you need money, why don't you just ask your brilliant brother for help? Hey, don't make fun of me. I won't allow you to make fun of my brother too. Yeah, whatever. Well, I need to leave now. I have no intention of seeing you in the future for the rest of my life. I'll block your number so don't ever contact me again. Wait, Mary. I want to start over with you. I don't know how I can manage to live alone. Judas couldn't manage the household budget at all. He couldn't even pay the rent. But he was still treating his parents and took them on spa trips. As a result of that, he couldn't keep his head above water and had to liquidate his debts. According to an acquaintance of mine, he was trying to get my contact information so he can start over with me. But no one was willing to grant his wish. I'm so glad that I was able to divorce such a nasty guy. I have always worked in graphic design. I've been working for my former employer and now I'm working from home. Some of my former clients remembered me. So I'm taking some orders from them. I'm now making enough money to live on my own. I don't think I will remarry again for the time being. I'm planning to enjoy my single life from now on. Hey, I might be a little late today. Are you done with your work? It's going to take me a little while, but I'm almost done. I'm going to stop by at your mother's house after work. Why? Why do you have to stop by at my mom's? Why do you ask? I'm not allowed to visit her? What do you need from her? If you need something from mom, I'll go. You don't have to go. What? I was told to come see her directly. Don't get me in trouble. Hey, what does she need from you? She's my mother. If she needs something, she would tell me. There's no way she needs something from you. Hey, don't be crazy. This morning, she told me to stop by at her place on my way home from work. And not only once, but multiple times. Are you sure? Why do I have to lie to you about something like this? I don't think mom would have anything to tell you. I did ask her if she's sure to talk to me instead of you, but she wanted me to come. What does she want from you? Hmm... I can sort of imagine. Well, anyways, I have to see her after work. I don't understand. Don't tell me you're planning to beg her for something, huh? What? Don't be stupid. I'm not a child. Why should I beg her? Will you stop saying such childish things? I told you she wants me. Why don't you believe me? 
She has always called me when she needed me. I'm telling you that it's impossible for her to talk to you without me. Hey, how much do you love her? I'm amazed. Maybe she has something she doesn't want you to know. What is the problem of me visiting her? I'm sure that's not true. There's nothing she can't tell me. She's the only one who understands me. I know her better than anyone. There's no way she would keep something from me. Mom, mom, mom. God, what a pain in the ass. Anyway, I have to go. I'll be late if I keep talking to you. Fine, I'll let you go today. But I'll never forgive you if you do something to her, okay? What is that? What do you mean if I do something? There are things you can say and can't say to each other as husband and wife. It sounds like I'm picking on your mother. Have I ever done anything to harm her? Huh? How dare you? You think I don't know anything? What are you talking about? You really are a shameless woman, aren't you? You pretend to be a good wife, but you actually pick on her, right? I know everything. Huh? Don't make false accusations like that. I'm picking on your mother? Don't make me laugh. I never did that, not even once. Don't lie. I heard from her. From her? That's right. My mom would never lie to me, and she's absolutely right. You're sneaking around, hiding and picking on her. You know what? Maybe you've been watching too much drama. I don't understand. How is that possible? I heard from her. Even if your mother said so, you didn't see or hear it directly, huh? How can you say such a terrible thing? You didn't actually see what happened. Don't assume I'm the bad one like that. The part where you get angry like that is even more suspicious. If you didn't do it, there's no need to be so angry. I'm upset because it's true. I didn't think you were the kind of woman who would pick on her mother-in-law. That's terrible. How dare you? I'm not bullying her. Fine. Enough excuses. Just go see her. She called you, right? I won't forgive you if you bully her even a little. How could you? You don't believe me at all. You were so nice to me before we got married. But as soon as we got married, you became a mommy's boy. You know we're married. You should take care of me too, not only your mother. Don't be so brazen. You know how much she means to me, don't you? Anyway, don't harass her, okay? Don't bother my mom. Hey, Abigail, are you listening to me? Hey, Abigail, I just heard from mom. Oh, what did she say? What did you do to her? Huh? What are you talking about? She said that you were picking on her again. How could you, after I warned you? Wait a minute. I talked to her, but I didn't pick on her. You're lying again. Give me a break. She called me while I was at work, so I called her back and she was crying. What? Why? The other day, the day you said you were going to stop by at her house, you verbally abused her and even hit her. She said she couldn't take it anymore and cried. Hey, what's going on? How is that possible? I have no idea. Huh? So you're saying mom lied to me? If she really said that, then I guess so. You! Stop telling me obvious lies! She was crying and I was so worried that I left work and went to her house. You're kidding, right? You'd leave work for that reason? I can't believe it. My precious mom was crying. I can't just leave her like that. Especially if it's your fault. I warned you. Can you explain what's going on? I don't know. I'd rather ask you. That day, I went to her house, and she gave me a lecture for many hours. You are a wife. You should give your all for your husband. How long are you going to keep working? If you can't take care of my son, get divorced now. As soon as I arrived, she yelled at me. 
I was the one who wanted to cry. Why did she have to say that? I don't understand. Even if it's a lie, it's natural, right? Then why was mom crying? Explain it to me. So, that's what I want to know. Maybe she was putting on an act? I'm sure she wanted you to worry. Huh? What does she need to act for? Mom would never be so cunning. Then what? Explain it to me. I never lied to you, okay? Please, you have to believe me. True, I don't like your mother. She's a stranger to me, I admit that. But hitting or abusing my mother-in-law? I would never do that. You can say whatever you want. You've been bullying mom all this time. And how can you ask me to believe you when you hit her? You're too selfish. That's terrible. Why can't you believe me? Do you think I'm the kind of woman who would bully your mother? That's absolutely not true. I'm the one who was bullied. Shut up. Enough. Kyle. Mom called me after a week of thinking about it. You've been continuing to bully her for a while. It must have been hard for her. She was putting up with your bullying because she cared about me. Of course, I think she cared about you too. But you kept abusing her and hitting her. And I believe she couldn't take it anymore. Do you know how she felt when she had to put up with it for so long? Do you know how kind she is to me, trying not to worry her? You really are a psycho. Why do you have to say that? I don't understand. I don't know what your mother told you, but you didn't see or hear any actual things. Why do you only take your mother's words? Of course I know. We are family. We trust each other more than anyone else. I know she would never lie to me. I'm pretty sure you're lying. Lying? I have been telling you it's not true. Listen, if you ever hurt my mom again, I won't let you get away with it, okay? If you ever hurt her feelings again, I'll curse you even worse. You better brace yourself. Okay, fine. I'm gonna take a bath and go to bed. And don't wake up again. <laughs> I'm staying at my mom's for a while. Bye. <laughs> I need you to pick up the phone. Kyle, I need to talk to you. I don't have anything to talk to you about. I'm having dessert with my mom. <laughs> I was taking a break in my bedroom after work. And when I woke up and tried to get out of my room, the door wouldn't open. I don't know why. Can you come home and take a look at it? I'm not feeling well today. I don't think I can move. Please? Can't you just stay like that? Huh? When I came home from work feeling exhausted, you were sleeping comfortably in your bedroom. I got annoyed and locked you in. Hey, my legs are tied up too. What? I don't understand. Kyle, are you serious? I'm being locked up? It's my punishment. What? You abused my mom and you even hit her. What a horrible thing to do to her. You should be sorry. I won't forgive you until you apologize. Wait a minute, Kyle. I'm really sick. I thought I had a fever since this morning, so I just needed some rest. I wasn't sleeping in. I don't care if you're sick or have a fever or whatever. You don't feel like apologizing to her. You have no remorse for the evil you did to mom. I'm just trying to make you feel sorry for what you've done. Mom said she'd forgive you if you were truly sorry. She's so kind. She's too open-minded to forgive someone like you. <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. There's no need to apologize or be sorry. I'm really sick. I think my fever's gone up and I'm parched. I need to go get some water. I don't trust anything you say. You're just saying random things, aren't you? I have your wallet, car keys, everything, so you wouldn't run away. <laughs> the only thing I couldn't find was your phone. You said you weren't feeling well, but actually, you were sneaking around in bed watching videos, right? I kept it in my pocket in case of emergency. That's how sick I am. Hey, 
Why did you take my wallet too? I'm just trying to keep you from running away. <laughs> you know, if you have money, you can call a cab, right? I saw you sleeping in the bedroom, and I thought maybe you were sick. <laughs> That's why I stole your wallet so you couldn't go see a doctor. <laughs> God, I'm really smart. <laughs> What? That's a crime. A crime? What are you talking about? <laughs> I did it so that you can pay for what you did. Don't talk nonsense. After all, you stole my belongings, right? You knew I wasn't feeling well, and you stole it. That's a thief. When I thought about it, this is a crime, right? What's with that logic? <laughs> you can't call for help anyway. Say whatever you want. You can't leave that room. I've made it so you can't open the windows or the front door. It's impossible for you to get out of there, man. Oh no, I didn't do anything against your mother. Why should you do such terrible things to me? This is like torture. If you think so, why don't you admit your evil deed? You really are stubborn. We are both disgusted by you. I can't believe you're that kind of person. I should have noticed it sooner. I'm sorry for being immature and hurting mom. I'm sorry I ended up hurting her. Okay. That's enough. You don't seem to trust me at all. So whatever. What? You're mad at me? <laughs> I don't need a person who would lie and bully mom. Stay there and be sorry. When you're ready to apologize to her, call me. Then I'll let you out of the room. Are you sure? Wait. Why are you looking down on me? I can't believe it. You have no right to act like that. Okay, why don't you just stay with your mommy? What's with that tone? You made fun of me, didn't you? I'll never forgive you. Hey, Abigail, you don't reply when it's inconvenient for you. Answer me. I haven't heard from you since then. Are you feeling better? Do you feel sorry now? <laughs> What? I have nothing to be sorry about. Are you still talking like that? You want to get out of there, don't you? If you apologize to mom, I'll let you out. Leave me alone. Huh? I don't want to apologize for something I didn't do. You're a real pain in the ass. Mom said she'd forgive you if you apologized. Don't you understand the goodness of people? How can you say that? I didn't do anything, but she made up a lie that I was harassing her, and she's trying to trick you. Your mother is a much worse person. Goodness of people, don't make me laugh. I won't let you talk bad about her. Reconsider. You continued to harass her. You abused her and hit her. After all, you hurt her feelings, and you never apologized. No matter how you think about it. This is crazy. I guess I made a mistake marrying a person like you. Those are my words. I'll never apologize because I didn't do anything wrong. You want me and mom to forgive you, right? Then you should apologize right now. If you don't apologize to her, we're getting divorced, okay? Sure, I'd love to. <laughs> Let's get divorced now. Huh? Actually. I've been waiting for you to say that for a long time. What do you mean? Because even if I said I wanted to get a divorce, you wouldn't accept it anyway, right? That's why I've been waiting for you to say that. <laughs> Now we can finally get divorced. I'm really happy. Wait a minute, it's divorce. Do you understand? Of course. We're breaking up, and you're going to be alone. That's right. That's what I wanted. Thank you, Kyle, for asking me to get divorced. You, what are you talking so cocky about? Don't get over yourself. If you really want to get divorced, I wouldn't open the door. Don't worry. I already called an ambulance. I've already left the room. What? 
You're out of the room? Yeah, I'm out. What the hell? It's a very strong lock. It shouldn't open right away. I was about to die. I had a high fever. I was dizzy and I was starting to feel faint. I thought I was going to lose consciousness, so I called 911. They also had a hard time getting in through the front door. So I explained the situation by phone and the fire engine came. They broke the window from the outside so I could go to the hospital safely. I'm in a hospital room now, resting. I was put on an IV drip and I'm feeling much better. What the hell? Thank God I had my phone. <laughs> Why did you call an ambulance? The neighbors would notice. It would be a big problem. My life was in danger, so no choice. I was about to die. You could have called me. You didn't have to call an ambulance. Huh? I asked you to help me, but you ignored me. I could have passed out if I hadn't asked for help. I was desperate. You're exaggerating. You would feel better soon if it was just a fever, right? You made the neighbors worry. You're probably right. But you did all those things. Ask the police later. How terrible thing you did. <laughs> What? What do you mean, police? You know, I was rescued in a very difficult situation. The police were suspicious and asked me what happened. <laughs> I think they should be there soon. What do you mean? Why are they coming to my place? Huh? Don't you see what you did? I was locked in my room in my own house. I had no wallet, no driver's license, no car keys. Of course, they would think there was a problem. I had my legs tied, I was in a locked room, and then I was rescued. I told them the truth. <laughs> hey, are you kidding me? I did it just to make you sorry for what you did. I didn't mean to... You didn't mean to, but you went too far. If you have any excuses, you can talk to the police. I think they're almost there. Don't even think about running away, okay? Hold on. I'm your husband. I would never lock you up. Just explain to the police that it was all a misunderstanding. Tell them it was just a fight. A fight? What are you talking about? <laughs> Honestly, it wasn't even a fight. I was the one who got blamed. It was really terrible. I'm proud of myself to be able to endure it. I'm not going to help you no matter how much you ask me to. <laughs> but if you keep this up, I'm going to become a criminal. Even you would be sad if your own husband was a criminal, wouldn't you? A husband? You said you and I are divorced, right? So we are strangers. You've got to be kidding me. I can't deal with the police. Please, help me. Please tell your excuses at the police station. Goodbye. The mommy's boy who had tormented me a lot was arrested in front of his mother not long after that. At that time, it seems like she looked very pale and was trembling. Of course, she should have known the details. She knew she was going to be interviewed voluntarily. We talked with the lawyer and eventually settled out of court for compensation. After that, the fact of my ex-husband's arrest had already spread around the neighborhood. He and his mother could no longer stand the cold stares and slander from them. So they disappeared without a trace. No one knows where they went. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and leave us a comment down below. It means a lot to us. See you next time.